rampaging through a small northern California town. A gunman took aim on Tuesday at people at an elementary school and several other locations, killing at least four and wounding at least ten before he was fatally shot by the police, the local sheriff's office said. There were at least seven separate shooting scenes in or near Rancho de Hama Reserve, an unincorporated community of about 1,500 people, Bill Johnston, assistant sheriff of Tahama County told reporters. He said investigators were still trying to confirm the identity of the killer, who he said was armed with a semi-automatic rifle and two handguns. It was very clear at the onset that we had a subject that was randomly picking targets, he said. There was a neighborhood dispute ongoing, he added, but beyond that, we don't know what the motives are for this individual to go on a shooting spree. At least two of the injured are children, officials said, and the dead are all adults. Coy Ferreira said he was one of a group of terrified people who took shelter inside Rancho Tahama School, an elementary school, where bullets crashed through the window of the classroom he was in, wounding a boy. There was gunshots going for a good 25 minutes, he told KRCR. A television station, he said he was walking his daughter to her kindergarten class at the school when they heard what he thought was a firecracker. When several more bangs followed, he said, one of the teachers came running out of the building and told us all to run inside the building. There was a shooter. Janine Quist, an administrator at the Corning Union Elementary School District, confirmed that there were people injured at the school, but said no one there is killed. Brian Flynn told a group of reporters that a man staying in his house was one of those killed and that some of his neighbors were among those who were shot. He said that the gunman was a neighbor and said that he had threatened him and had stabbed another neighbor, a woman, in a dispute earlier this year. And I believe he was on bond because of that. As far as we know he was, you know, crazy. Mr. Glenn said, he shoots a lot of gunshots at night, in the morning. Like a hundred rounds. He said he had let his roommate borrow his truck and the man was returning it when he was shot in the driveway. My truck was stolen, used in the crime, he said. Assistant Sheriff Johnston confirmed that the gunman stole a white Ford F-150 pickup truck and later stole a car. He said his office began getting 911 calls at 7.52 a.m. about gunshots on Bobcat Lane, about a mile south of the school. We have information that he did several random drive-by shootings of residences before reaching the school, Mr. Johnston said. Among those injured were a woman and child riding in a pickup truck. She had no clue who he was or why, he said. She was driving her kids to school. He fired repeatedly at the school before driving off. And he was fleeing from the area of the school when he was engaged by the law enforcement officers who killed him. Mr. Johnson said the killer is known to law enforcement. But I don't know him to be a felon, he added. In a statement, Gov. Jerry Brown said, Ann and I are saddened to hear about today's violence in Tahoma County, which shockingly involved school children. We offer our condolences to the families who lost loved ones and unite with all Californians in grief. Rancho Tahama Reserve lies in a sparsely populated region of rolling hills between Redding and Chico. More than 100 miles north of Sacramento, 